I would like to say a few words in Arabic first. Anna Badi Erki an Salib al Ahmar fi Syria. Wa Mudua Zumala Maktufin fi Idlib. Was Anna Ma Erki kitir Lora Arabia, Anna Rach Erki fi Lora Englesi. It's a very, very simple appeal. I appeal from my heart in the name of humanity on behalf of the families to release our colleagues safe and sound and unharmed. It is clear that if this situation is not resolved, it will affect negatively the aid we are trying to bring uh, to the Syrian people. We need safety and security for our staff to be able to reach out, whether it's in the field of water or health or uh, food to the people who need us. The families are very, very heavily affected. They come to my office, they cry, they plead for information about the release of their loved ones. I've not been able to give that until now. They are suffering because they have no information about them. And I have promised them that both personally and as an institution, ICRC will do whatever we can to bring the loved ones back to them safe and sound. That's why I also plead for this release today. The ICRC works around the world in many, many different contexts. And everywhere we are, we do our very best international and national staff to adapt to local traditions, to culture, to the religious circumstances, so that we show that we respect the people on the ground and the different actors. This is a basic in our approach and this is also what we're doing in Syria and we did that in Idlib. ICRC works in many Muslim countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, Yemen, and I've had the opportunity myself to work both in Afghanistan and Iraq. And it is our experience that we are able to reach out and talk also to armed groups of different characters. And in this difficult environment, we are able to obtain acceptance and the necessary safety so we can carry out the humanitarian work also in these difficult uh, conflict contexts. This is exactly what we're trying to do in Syria. And that's why we plead for the resolution of this situation and safety for the future of our teams.